Hey, what's up everyone? It's Chris Winter here for another DSLR video. Now today I'm going to be taking a look at one of my favorite lenses. It's the Sigma 30mm f1.4 and today we're going to have a look at the autofocus capabilities of this, specifically during video because uh, Canon's now released the Canon 70D, well it's been out for about a year now, but it has a fantastic dual pixel autofocus system and it really works fantastic. So what I wanna do in the uh, next few weeks is test out different lenses to see how they perform uh, during autofocus during video. So uh, we'll be testing this one out first. I've got a couple others that I'm gonna test out, but uh, let's take a look at this lens here and let's go outside and see how it performs. Okay, so the first test that I want to do on this Sigma 30mm 1.4 is test out the face tracking uh, feature that's on the Canon 70D and see how that performs with the Sigma 30 1.4. Now I'm currently at f4.5 which is in a super uh, wide aperture, so staying in focus shouldn't be too difficult, but let's test out how it goes. Now I'm going to move back and forth to see just how much, how well it can keep me in focus. And it looks like it's doing a pretty good job it is recognizing my face, which is a good, good thing. Now what I'm gonna do is jump out of the frame and see if it can pick it back up uh, without uh, me having to refocus it or, or to see if it works. Okay, and as you can see, it seems like it did a really, really good job. That's uh, more to the Canon 70D's uh, uh, credit, but the Sigma 31.4 seems to be autofocusing pretty well um, and working well with the Canon 70D. Now what we're going to do is change the aperture down to f1.4, oh it's a bit bright, and see if the autofocus works well at this uh, aperture. Obviously the, uh, this is a really shallow depth of field so it would be even difficult for a uh, experienced focus puller to get this uh, in focus. But I'm going to move back and forth and see if it is able to keep me in focus. But like, as you can see right here, it's barely just my eyes that are in focus. Oh, it's lost me. There we go, back in. I think I went too, too close to it. You can just see just how, how much is in focus because my finger right there is completely out of focus. But it seems to work pretty well. You know, if you're using a steady cam or something like this, uh, Having the autofocus feature seems to work really well for video. Not really sure if I'd want to be shooting at f1.4 in a Steadicam, but uh, the feature's there and it seems to be working pretty well. So that was the Sigma 30mm f1.4. What a fantastic lens. Look, it performed much better than I thought it would. Um, its aperture of f1.4 is a very, very fast aperture and the depth of field is razor thin at that aperture. Of course, if you step it down to something like f3.2 or uh, f5, it's gonna get a lot better and a lot easier for the autofocus, but of course we wanna use this lens at its uh, maximum aperture, aperture because that is what we've got it for. So it does perform pretty well. Obviously it's not gonna be as good as an STM lens. Now if you wanna watch a uh, more reviews on the autofocus lenses, click here and I will put a uh, link to the other videos that I've done. Now if you did like this video, I would love it for you to subscribe because I'm gonna be doing a lot more of these autofocus tests as well as lens reviews. So stay tuned for them in the future. And if you also liked it, I'd love it for you to leave a thumbs up because it really makes a difference and it means that uh, I know to do more of these videos. So have a fantastic day guys. I'm gonna get back to using my Sigma 30 1.4. See you later.